In the late 90s, early 2000s, I don't think that people really have an idea of how many records were sold out of this store. Other music at the time was one of the main sources for hearing about music first. Holy shit. This one is amazing. It was a place that I loved to go whenever I wanted to find something new or something I didn't know about. When I go slowly into the city, that's the river I'll fill with snow. Other music championed a lot of these bands really early on. The first time we got a card in other music, we're like, my band's a real thing now. The first couple of years, it was like nowhere I had ever worked before. It was crazy. Just from the amount of personalities you had to interact with on the staff, and then the amount of people that were coming in the store. Look at the line. If I'm completely honest, I was never just chill in there. It would, I always got that like first day of school feeling like, OK, just you know, don't fuck up. There shouldn't have been an intimidation factor. But there was. I mean, I'm not the first person to say that, right? It wasn't just a record store, it was definitely like a community center in a lot of ways. It's one of those things where it transcends a job, you know, these people become your family. All closing in class. The plan is to close other music um, on June 25th. It's sad. It's like a home for a lot of people. Music, you know, it's a way to connect with other people. It's a way to connect with yourself and just kind of live for a purer type of joy than, uh, than we get in our daily grind.